Hello, I'm Anthony Sarno and today I'm going to highlight the Ricoh Pro C7210 configuration here in Boulder, Colorado. Hi, so I'm standing in front of the Ricoh Pro C7200, 95 pages a minute model, 24 by 4800 DPI, and around 260,000 impressions per month. The 7200 has the new EFI E86A rip, which is 50% uh, more performance power than our previous generation of the 85A. Being able to be able to do impose, compose, spot color matching, and also uh, color calibration for neon colors as well. Now I'm going to talk about some of the feeder options for the Ricoh Pro C7200. Right below us, we have some friction feed drawers. Drawer one and two. Drawer one is an eight and a half by eleven drawer with a capacity of 1,100 sheets, 550 on each side with continuous run. In drawer two, going up to a 12 by 18, holding around 250 sheets. On the back end, we have the large capacity trays. Drawer three, four, five, and six, you could also add seven and eight. All vacuum feeders, going up to a 13 by 19 inch, 2200 sheets per drawer, going up to a 360 GSM. So 360 GSM is equivalent to a 16 point stock or 130 pound cover. On the back end of the large capacity tray, we have the secondary option is an oversized media drawer. This media drawer gives you the ability to do a 13 by 27 and a half inch duplexing in line on the 7200. This opens up a lot of opportunity when you start talking about doing trifolds, dust jackets, book covers, and even pocket folders. So I'm just gonna open this up for you here. It has a top tray where you could easily load the sheets in and it holds around 500 sheets to 700 sheets based on media weight. You also have an option through a bypass tray. This will hold up to a, a 250 sheets, 80 pound uncoated cover. So 216 GSM, it'll go to a 49.6 inch or this one is a 40 inch. So the 7200 is a CMYK press, but with a lot of creative control when you start talking about added value for your company. Um, with the 7200, it's a CMYK press, but with the fist station, that fist station be able to give you different types of colors, such as clear, white, neon yellow, neon pink, and also security red. So I'm just gonna go over some of the samples that we have here. One of the options is for security red toner for like certificates or also ticketing. Just a couple more. Two other colors are neon pink and also neon yellow. This is giving your, your press a lot more value when you start talking about really cool colors. Uh, being able to do like some breast cancer awareness or like some cool um, flyers as well by able to use the pink and yellow. Um, another thing that we can use the neon pink and neon yellow is a gamma expansion. That is really important when you start talking to be, about being able to hit some very vibrant colors like oranges, greens, blues, and so forth by using the neon pink and also the neon yellow. So we're going outside the box.
A couple samples that we recently did was being able to try to hit a Pantone 151 with the orange. This is basically the best we can do off a of CMYK press. By adding the extra pink to it, we're able to hit those colors of the neon with the neon pink. Here's an example of Home Depot orange. Very difficult to do. Usually you have to do this on an offset press, but we were able to do it on a CMYK box of the 7200. And this is also another example of how we did it. So CMYK plus the orange by adding 65% pink. Another one is was Pantone 375. Very difficult to do. And this was with, was with uh, use a neon yellow. And we're able to hit this very vibrant Pantone 375 color. So the 7200 could do a, a lot of different substrates and it's very flexible since you're able to do linen stocks and synthetic stocks and different types of colors and medias as well. So one of the colors is the white, as you can see. Being able to do a black substrate and being able to lay down white. Here's, here's an example of a red sheet. Being able to add the white in there and CMYK on top. And what's unique about the 7200 is you could do this all in one pass. The opaque is very white. And then here's an example of several different types of colors too. Blue, purple, uh, navy blue. And then also being able to partner with uh, Color Logic to be able to do some metallic effects too. So you're taking a metallic board and being able to lay down CMYK and then the white on top too as well. What's unique about the 7200 is the different substrates that you could print on, such as medias that are colored medias. Um, being able to do on a blue media, purple media, light blue media, and also black medias by laying down white with the uh, white opacity. Um, what's very unique about it too is you're able to use silver medias. Silver medias all in one pass process by being able to lay down the white toner and then CMYK on top. Here's a, here's a couple examples. So you're thinking about the industry and you're thinking about maybe like some um, carton boxes and also making like metallic colors too. Here's a set of metallic. Okay, now with the doors open, I can show you the paper path. So as it comes through the large capacity drawers, it's a straight paper path all the way through. If it's going to duplex, straight through, duplex, back around, and out. You're able to do a 13 by 27 and a half inch duplexed in line. Now with all the units out, we have the mechanical registration. It's a rot rotary gate, so it's uh, almost like a large offset press. So hitting the head stop, we hold a 0.5 millimeters front to back on registration. Um, and then also a secondary transfer roller opposed to the 9200, which has a transfer belt. We use that as a AC transfer, which is an alternate current. So instead of laying down toner on the page, we'll actually pulse toner to the page and get into the grooves and crevices of the medias. On the second side of the unit is the fuser unit. This is ran between 135 and 185 degrees, real flexible on being able to do several types of medias. Um, this also has a smoothing valve smoothing roller in there. When you're ever doing a lot of eight and a half by 11 medias, going to larger sizes, we got a polisher that's gonna polish out those fusing burns. And then also a contact image sensor in here, measuring for inline calibration and inline color registration. Everything in purple in here is a part of our trained customer replaceable units. These units are gonna be stored at your facility. Either a service can do it for you or an operator could do it for you. Um, it's very easy to do. Say if I wanted to pull out a fuser, basically I'm using a basic tool, unscrewing, and actually pulling out a fuser, a full fuser unit very easily.
We also have photoconductor drum units that has the drums, cleaning station, and charging rollers. What's very important with the 7200 is the fist station. So how are we gonna uh, change out the fist station from a clear to say a neon yellow? So right in front of me is a kit. It comes with, you'll have a kit for each individual color. And it's already put together for you. So this is the photoconductor drum unit. Has the drum inside, cleaning station, and also charging roller. You'll be replacing the toner hopper as well. This toner hopper lays right underneath this plate. And then also a little um, purge unit too as well. It'll go right here for replacement before you purge all the toner out of the line. When changing out those trained customer replaceable units, we also have a replacement guide list here and also a troubleshooting guide. If you want to do a fist station changeover, we have full interactive videos to help you through that process. From step one all the way to the last step. One of our major differences from our 7100 series to our 7200 series is our fist station changeover. Um, typically, the fist station always laid last in a process. So if you're running a red paper and you wanted to lay down the white down first, you would have to do a double pass. On the 7200, you don't necessarily have to have the white last. You could actually lay the white down first and then CMYK on top so it's a one pass process. Behind me is our new 17 inch touch panel display. So it, it makes it really interactive. So it works just like an Andro Android or uh, iPhone. You could add manuals on there. You could add Netflix if you would like. Um, what's very unique about this is your tray paper settings. We, you can import from a master library that's already being pre-approved and tested medias for the 7200 or the 9200 as well. Several different stocks that you can pull into your custom library and, and make uh, adjustments easy on the fly too as well. Um, and also as you can see on this other monitor that I'm running command workstation which is uh, EFI. I could actually pull pull that down and run the fiery console off this unit too. And I could add a keyboard and a mouse too to run this unit. So after the 7200 chassis, I have a, a Plockmatic high cap interposer. So this will this has the ability to do a 13 by 26 inch sheet and it's all vacuum fed drawers. So if you're thinking about doing, say, like a color cover, a really thick color cover, say off a 9200, you could add your covers here, print the guts through the um, 7200 to keep up speed. You could all, it has a, also a second drawer down below. So you, maybe you want to do maybe like some type of insert inside a, a saddle stitch booklet. And this has the capacity to uh, hold over 1700 sheets. On the back end here, we have the high capacity stacker. Um, you could add up to two of these stackers. Each stacker will hold up to 5,000 sheets. You can also offset and then also a proof tray on top. Once it's all the way loaded, you could all take this to your finishing area, and add an extra cart as well. On the back end here, we also have the basic finisher. So this finisher will be able to give you um, side staples, corner staples, and so forth, and also being able to do uh, 3,500 sheet stacking ability up on top here. On the back end is the Clockmatic 500. This is rated around 30,000 to 35,000 booklets a month. So it's all saddle stitched with cartridges. This unit is a rotator, creaser, and trimmer. So it's gonna crease every sheet and also cut into the bleed of every sheet. So if I'm taking a 12 by 18 sheet, it's gonna cut individual sheets, quarter inch on both sides to cut into the bleed. So it hits 11. Saddle stitch the booklet all together. Square back, 
and then face trim, and then a conveyor on the back end. So the Plockmatic 500 comes in two different models, a 350 and a 500. The 350 is 35 sheets, the 500 is, is 50 sheets. So this is a sample of a 50 sheet booklet, which is a 200 page book. So this, as you can see as well, is it's all in line with my 7200. So with it in line right now, I could run at rate of speed of the machine. So 95 pages a minute, this unit could be added on the 9200 and also the 8300 as well. So I can actually run it offline too. If I'm taking set booklets off another machine, I can just drop them through the feeder right here to make set books. And it also has a cover feeder on top.